Hey watcher, my name is Marcel Bronner. I'm working for EMC as a Wii specialist. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate the file management appliance into a productive environment. It is referred to as FMA later on. This is the fourth tutorial of a series of five. On my server desktop, I'm connecting to my VMware View environment. VMware View is a desktop virtualization solution that is able to run a thousand of Windows XP or Windows 7 images on a virtual infrastructure. I'm going to log in as a client to show how file management looks in an end user's perspective. I am presented with my own personalized desktop. I'm going to click on Windows Explorer. And the first thing I'm going to do is to copy a set of data to my networked home drive that points to my primary file server, which is VFS03, that I configured for file management. The copy process is fast forwarded. I open up a browser window and I point it to my FMA Virtual Edition. I log in with the username admin, the password is rain. Presented with the GUI, I'm going to select the tab policies and the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a file matching expression. You can see the NAS group file archive that, it that I created earlier on. I'm going to click create file matching expression and I name it my first dash FME then I'm presented with several attributes like last access, last modified, size, file name, dear name and with some operators like equals, larger than, smaller than and I choose to go for a very simple rule file attribute last modified larger than one year I add that to the rule and I'm going to save the file matching expression. You can combine file matching expression to create a very complex rule. And I'm going to create a new policy. I name it my first policy. I can choose from various policy types, but I keep it as archived. I have the possibilities to go for stops, orphans, and multi tier. As a delayed stopping period, I'm going to choose zero days because I don't want to do delayed stopping and I add it to the rule. So I'm going to choose my first file matching expression and I add it to that rule again. And then in the selector action, I'm going to go for the archive. I'm going to choose the NAS script that I created earlier on, which is the file archive, and I'm going to save that rule. And I'm going to save that policy. You can add several rules to a single policy. That's possible if you want to go for complex policies. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta create a schedule. So I schedule a new task. And I'm presented with several task types. And I have several capabilities of, of how I can schedule an archive condition. This is my first policy that I'm going to choose. I can choose whether I want to delete orphans or stops with a policy. I have auxiliaries so like scanning for stops, doing a backup, doing a NAS migration. But I'm going to archive with my first policy and I select the source file server VFS03 and I browse to the appropriate folder that I want to have an archive policy run. It's a test data. I hit OK. But since this is the first run for my policy, I run a simulation and I want to have it as detailed as possible. So I'm going to hit that detail button and I save the task. And it's run immediately. And after some time of data collection, I will be presented with the summary. So I can go and select the simulation summary in that row. And I'm presented with several logs and the number of files to be archived. It's over 1,000 files. That's a huge amount of files in that respective folder. I have a look at the detailed file list and I can see the over 1,000 candidate files to be archived. And it's very detailed, like it's modif less modified date, last access date, 
exact folder file names everything's in there I hit that simulation summary button again and have a look at the various locks I view the lock I can download it and I'm going to check for the connectivity authentication of the file server if that has been successful then I'm ready to go VFS 04 was successful VFS 03 was successful as well so the archiving process actually should work and that's all I gotta do in here this concludes the fourth part of the video tutorial for FMA thank you very much for your attention goodbye